Hi guys, hi everybody. It was time to make a new video for my YouTube channel and I'm still annoyed and a little bit frustrated but my Instagram account got disabled and unfortunately there are a lot of haters, there are a lot of mean people who don't want you to be successful and I had more than like 45,000 followers on Instagram, I just started making money off of it. And out of the blue, two days ago, I'm opening my Instagram and it's not coming up. Like my name, it's not popping up. So I try changing my password, I try contact my Instagram, it doesn't work. And what happened is that someone hacked to my account and they break my password and they just delete my Instagram. And it's so sad because I put so much effort so much selfies, so much pictures, so much trips, you know, and I just wanted to share with the world all of the good moments I have. And when you're positive, positive thing happens. But unfortunately, someone was very jealous of me and someone was very jealous of the success I was achieving and I'm still achieving. And I worked so hard on my modeling, I worked so hard on my dancing. I worked so hard in my acting and I was keep posting pictures, pictures. I met Brandy, which was so amazing. She's my favorite singer. We took a video together. And I, I've been doing so well on Instagram. And when you hit certain amount of followers, like 45, 50,000 followers, Instagram does pay you money. So it was like a little business and I wanted to keep going up, building it up. But unfortunately, someone didn't want me to be that successful and I don't know how did it happen, but someone break to my password and when I contact Instagram, it was someone from another country that wasn't in America. So they just broke to my password and they deleted everything, everything. And I was so fucking pissed off. I was like, seriously, bitch. Focus on your shit. Don't just delete someone's accounts because a lot of people put effort to it. And uh, again, you cannot trust anyone. You're meeting a lot of people. You're thinking that they're the right people. They're always acting like they're your friends. And behind your back, they talk shit. That's what happened. <sighs> but I mean, I'm over it. But I'm just so angry because it was a lot of hard fucking work that they put on Instagram. And out of the blue, someone just decided they're gonna delete it. And it's so unfair because usually I sit down and I think and I pray, but there are a lot of haters. A lot of people don't want you to be successful. A lot of people just hate on you. Because you want to achieve something, because you have a goal. And I definitely have to share that story on my YouTube channel, but uh, I'm still mad, I'm still pissed off. You know, I just opened my new Instagram account, I only have like a hundred followers, so that's a big, big difference from 45,000 to a hundred. Yeah, bitch. But that's not gonna put me down. Whoever did this shit, I'm sure they're probably watching me now. You're motivating me. You're motivating me to go up and be successful because nobody's gonna put me down. Nothing can put me down. But it's just annoying and irritating that I work so hard to hit that level on Instagram and start making money off of it. And out of the blue, someone just deletes it. Someone just deleted all of my fucking pictures. Calabasas, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, Santa Barbara, San Francisco, Hollywood. You know, it was so much effort, especially when I did my photo shoot in Beverly Hills. That took days to get ready, to get the makeup, to get the clothes, to get all of the shit you needed. And so many pictures, so many videos, they're just gone. Gone. And it's irritating me. But I guess that's Hollywood. 
And when you're a model, or if you're an actor, or you're trying to get in that industry, you got to be ready to face some downs and ups. And it's not just going to be always fun. It's not just going to be, if I just say this, like, you're going to meet a lot of fake people. I'm over it, you know, I'm not gonna like cry about it, but it's just sad. I had so many followers, so many people worldwide. I met so many cool people, so many special people from Spain, from Greece, uh, Turkey. I don't remember all of the countries, uh, Mexico. So much things that I had on Instagram. And out of the blue, it's gone. I had people following me from Brazil. I had people following me from Morocco. You know, messaging me, messaging me all the time. Keep going. We love your page. And out of the blue, someone just deleted it. So I'm irritated. And again, when I try contact Instagram, they were like. I even called the Instagram number and I talked to the operator, whatever. I don't know, I don't know how to say it in English. Operator, whatever, phone person. They were like, your account is down. Someone hacked to your password and just disable everything. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me? So, I just have to say to other people, make sure you protect your account. Change your password. Protect your pictures, save your pictures. That's what I did. They save all of my photos, all of my pictures, all of my photos. So I'm gonna be keep posting, and I'm gonna keep going up. So nobody is gonna put me down. And when you do shit like this, karma gets you. Not me, karma. Karma is a fucking bitch. So whoever done that, shame on that person. And it's probably some loser. And I always think, why do you have to hate on people? Make your own business, try to be successful, you know. Stop hating, and I experience so much hate, you know. But again, that's another lesson that I learned, so. I'm a very positive person, so every day we learn lessons, so. I don't know, I'm still a little bit irritated because they just start making money off of it and if you're smart you can make a lot of fucking money on social media. And I just hit that level, 45,000 followers, that was a big number. And I was about to receive paycheck from Instagram, already got a paycheck twice. But I guess someone got really, really jealous so they didn't want, they didn't want me to hit that level so... Shame on you. So, right now I'm just in Calabasas. I'm with a friend of mine. Just enjoying the beautiful day. Tomorrow I'm gonna go to the beach. So nobody's gonna put me down. So, it's still an amazing day. And I just have to say, keep going up, bitch. A lot of people are gonna want to put you down. A lot of fake friends. You're gonna have to keep going and be successful because that's the key. You can't just stop. And it's crazy. For example, the Kardashian. How would the Kim Kardashian feel if someone just disabled all of her shit? She had like 97 million followers. She will be pissed just like me. And of course she make millions of dollars off of it, so. <sighs> I don't know, I just had to make the story. I don't post that much on my YouTube channel, but that was the story I had to fucking post out there. But whatever, I'm gonna keep going. I'm working on my modeling, I'm working on my acting, and I know I will hit that level, bitch. One day I'm gonna hit my level back on Instagram. So yeah, it's summertime. Just enjoying the day. So that will be it, haters. Whoever did this shit to me, shame on you, bitch. Shame on you. That's not gonna make you successful. No, bitch. Literally. 
So, I want to wish everyone to have an amazing Monday and to enjoy and be happy. <laughs>